and we have a drivetrain malfunction <sighs> let's get started hey guys working on a 2016 bmw 328 it's the f30 the n26 engine and 20 is very it's very similar and we have ourselves a code here that it's kind of a ghost code let's talk about it if you look here we have a p054b code camshaft position timing over retarded bank one now this is a four cylinder engine so it only has one bank don't forget that camshaft b usually means the exhaust cam uh this here is the dme talking to me valve tronic actuator position sensor malfunction valve tronic actuator uh, open circuit vandals outlet cold start this is the important one cold start when this happened it happens right when you start the car up and the car starts to act kind of janky um i guess every time you start the car up on these f30s the um timing in the vvt must go through some kind of um some kind of phase um and it acts up right when you start the car uh and boost pressure shut now after consecutive reactions this usually probably what triggered the actual drivetrain malfunction and to cause the car to do what it did let's uh start talking about it i do want to talk about the fact that when this car the drivetrain malfunction came up no check engine light or any of that happened just we got a drivetrain malfunction um the wife said pretty much when she first started the car up started driving it did it it acted up um, I had a book here. Let's look into some stuff and see what we see what's probably going on And then we're gonna diagnose the actual actuator we need to find and see if we need to buy a new one or see if it's jammed See if we can clean it. Let's just see what we can do here. So, um, since there's not much information on this code I kind of had to just do some research look at my book and just see what I could find now if you are n 52 or n 54 owner You will know that your cam solenoids sit right here Usually when the when the valve cover would leak, oil would leak on your vanos, and then that's what caused these solenoids to fail, okay? On the F30 miles, I mean the F30, the N20, N26, the four-cylinder turbo models, the vanos, I mean these solenoids are actually integrated into the camshaft itself. I'll show you what that looks like when we take the valve tron and we took the vanos off, the actuators off. There's a timing, there's an advanced timing board and a retard board. Pretty much every time you start the car up, oil flows into here, and then the car determines if it needs to retard or advance the timing. It basically resets the timing every time you start the car, okay? On the N20 models, there are these actuators that are basically plungers that push in the solenoid to activate the timing, all right? When these fail, this is what can cause the um the p054 code uh the vanos not working okay? okay now this pertains to the m55 but it also can be diagnosed doing the same way with the m50 i mean with the uh n20 uh pretty much let's see here sticky solenoid cam or camshaft sensor can be swapped to test if you want to run a test you can swap these like the M55s, but if you have the N20, these are interchangeable as well. If you wanted to just swap them and see if the code went from P054B to P052A, I believe. This is the inlet side. This is the exhaust side. We'll show you that in the motor as well. Um, another thing here. It's kind of important. Small amount of silicone introduced into the Vanos actuator or solenoid can cause faults. Um, I'll show you what I did when I installed the valve cover. It is a possibility I could have gotten some silicone into the Vanos actuator because I'll show you what I did when I put the new when I put the actuators back in. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are going to remove the Vanos actuator. Um, we're gonna test it to see if the plunger actually works. Um, we can attempt if it works, we'll attempt to clean it and just see hopefully that it was just sticking. Um, and after that, I will clear out the code and we'll drive the car um, and we'll see what happens. It says if you want to remove faulty and use shop air to gently blow out particles. I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to use something called throttle body cleaner. Throttle body cleaner is safe on electronics. 
cleans the internals and it has a, I think it has a little bit of a smidge of like lubricant in it to make sure that the uh, plunger will move will move fine if it works so let's take it out and let's see what happens Ready remove the air box to just give us the space we need to access our actuators here now if you want to know which one's inlet which one's I mean which one's intake and which one's exhaust your intake comes here air comes into here this is your intake side this is where your eccentric shaft actuates the intake stuff here this is intake side exhaust side this is where the, the exhaust manifold is this is what controls the exhaust timing okay this is our culprit right here let's take it apart and before we actually get started i do want to mention i did this valve cover about a month ago um it was like almost over a month ago so this is not like something that happened right after i did the valve cover itself it took a while for this to act up but you know sometimes when you take some stuff out you put it back together this is the kind of stuff that happens so let's take it out these are e10s we're going to pull this sensor down pop it out and see what we find we're also going to investigate the solenoid inside the can as well while it's still in the air we're going to just release that little tab there now let's remove these I'm gonna get a little flathead in here like this and gently pop it out just like that cool 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 and since we already released that lever let's kind of pull that out and now this is what our actuator looks like here this is our intake ports we're just gonna push our finger in and it goes in and out with free play so we know that this is not an issue and that this is working properly excellent Here's our plunger here. We want to see if this will operate, see if this will work. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use here. I see two, two electrical tabs in here. I'm gonna get my gator clips and we're gonna see if we can make this actuate in and out, okay? Uh, and I do wanna show where I install. Now, these gaskets are not replaceable. So when I put the valve cover in, I put a little bit of silicone around the lip of this here i don't think there's no way that silicone could have gotten in here just the way this is designed and the way it seals up against here i don't see how silicone would have got past this lip into here but if you have the solenoids the actual long bores maybe that could happen but let's get some gator clips on here and see if we can test this plunger and see if it's working properly i believe i'm tapped in basically i have these gator clips attached to the positive and negative terminal um, i'm gonna use this little nine volt battery here power side plus i'm gonna just attach this here like this and we touch it with our ground let's see if it moves and that moves i don't know if you guys can see that give me one second change the angle so you guys can see it better nine volt we have our positive right here our positive is right there and our negative right here and that plunger comes out plunger goes back down plunger goes out plunger goes back down so this does not seem to have any issues here yeah that's working it, it, it's definitely working mass airflow sensor cleaner it's safe on electrical stuff mine is all worn out sorry i'll show you what the can looks like but we're just gonna spray in here and look at that all i did was spray in here and this thing came out oh wow so i got a feeling that it was probably gummed up a little bit i'm just gonna like about a couple squirts one two three four five that's it and now look at that that's operating freely beforehand when i would when i touched it it didn't even want to move but now it's moving freely um i'm gonna let this dry for a little while and we're gonna do one more thing i want to talk about just because i want to make sure that i eliminate any and all variables when it comes to this stuff i'm gonna let this sit out i'm gonna leave it like this in the upside down position so that any lubricant in here will actually let this stuff dry um, I'm gonna let it sit out for about 20 minutes to let this stuff dry out and, and so it's not sitting in the actuator the last thing I wanted to talk about just because I'm a person that I like to eliminate any and all variables um, if I can I'm just gonna do it just to be on the safe side if you see here now like most VVT solenoids uh, VTEC and stuff like that um they use oil pressure to operate 
these solenoids and stuff like I said oil flows in here um, this the little media filter here oil flows in that's how we activate our our either our advanced timing or our retard timing okay um, it works off oil pressure and whatnot it's a strong possibility that when you do valve cover gaskets um, because the whole cylinder head is off a little bit of debris could have gotten there a little bit of dirt a little bit of gasket material itself could have gotten in the oil it's a strong possibility or the oil filter quote unquote could have collapsed which i don't think it will we'll take it off we'll investigate everything and we'll take a look and see but not only would i clean not only did you know we clean the ex the exhaust actuator i'm also going to change the oil too just to make sure that we have fresh clean oil flowing into our cam solenoids and that we don't have so that, you know just eliminate any and all variables of of, uh, of our timing problem acting up again so while that is drying I'm actually gonna jack the car up I'm gonna drain the oil we're gonna take a look at the oil filter and we'll put everything back together we'll, cl we'll clear the codes out and we'll drive the car again oil is draining right now let's go back on top and install the actuator okay everything dry now just gonna wipe out the lift in here Okay, so we reinstall this. Sort these back to 80 inch pounds. Reinstall our sensor here. Push that in. Lock tab is in. Good. Oh, you're sleeping kind of a lot. Oh, God. So much. Oh, man. It ran down my alternator. Come on. Why did it leak so much? I guess I wasn't the smartest. I still have the, the passenger side jacked up, which kind of got the engine tilted a little bit probably cause that oil to drip clean it up as much as possible i am completely out of shop towels so i am using paper i mean regular paper towels which sucks because i need to go free up on shop towels immediately but just clean up spray it down with some uh spray cleaner just clean it all up it happens it's part of the game okay taking a look at our filter here it is not broken it's not in pieces Everything is still all in one thing. I don't see any grit or anything like that. All our gaskets are still in place. So I'm going to replace these gaskets and everything and put the new filter in. Get her started by hand and we'll slide her down. like that we're good this cleaned up uh solenoids back in the air box is back in i did make a video on how to replace the air box if you care i mean the air cleaner air filter if you care to know um let's get in the car let's reset it and let's start her up i'm gonna clear all all the modules um i don't if you have a basic scan tool I, i'm not 100 percent sure if it'll work because it's not a pending or a confirmed um check engine light code it's actually like an, 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 an enhanced engine code so you may need a higher level scan tool to clear it but i'm just going to clear all the codes gotta turn it off turn the car back on turn the car off back on now i'm going to clear everything and we're going to let that stuff clear and i'll get back to you when it's done okay, let's start her up Oh, I forgot. I need to reset the service. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to make sure that the car is running properly. Okay, she's running good. Everything sounds clean. Um, make sure that there's no oil leaking down the, the, the solenoid here. Check underneath. Make sure you ain't got any oil leaks. I'm just going to let her run. Um, and I'm going to jump into the car and check the controls and make sure that there's no issues with the controls either. Checking all my controls. It says all the systems are okay. 
so i'm just gonna give this about a couple weeks see if the cold comes back around i'm gonna take the car for a drive take it for a spin make sure everything feels good make sure everything rides good but uh hopefully we fixed our problem here thanks for watching you guys till next time out bye